5. We're learning more about the laws that could be passed at the Capitol and which issues will have a more difficult time getting through. This follows a rare closed-door meeting between both Senate and Assembly Republicans and Governor Tony Evers. The governor left saying he will continue to fight for things like Medicaid expansion, even though Republicans are saying they won't budge. Our Amanda Quintana is here with reaction from both sides. Amanda. Yes, well, with Republicans still the majority in the legislature and a new Democratic governor starting his term, both sides feel it's important to start out by getting to know each other, the issues they can tackle together, and the ones they just won't agree on. Behind this door, a rare meeting between Republican lawmakers and new Democratic Governor Tony Evers. Meant to be the start of a conversation, both sides are hoping involves compromise. This is one area that I know there is definite agreement, is that just because you have divided government doesn't mean that nothing's going to get done. But when they emerged, we learned more about what they won't agree on. They made it clear that the issue of Medicaid expansion was, not, was a non-starter for them. I would prefer for us to find areas that are not going to automatically kind of devolve into a big argument. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says some things are just off the table. So on things like a dramatic increase in income or sales taxes on business or homeowners, I think that'd be a non-starter with us. Uh, at least for our caucus, I think expanding government-run health care uh, is a non-starter too. Evers says he will respectfully still submit the Medicaid expansion as part of the budget. We will continue to fight for that and uh, uh, we feel very confident that we will win that. An area they did seem to come together on. He made the commitment that he would not touch WDC in this budget. So I think that's a huge victory. During his campaign, Evers wanted to eliminate the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, saying the $3 billion deal made with Foxconn was too expensive. We need to make sure that we're good uh, stewards of the money, so we're going to hold their feet to the fire. Now convinced WEDC is succeeding and will be transparent, something both sides want. Under the deal that we voted for, not a dollar goes out until a shovel's in the ground or someone actually gets a paycheck. That is something that all of us agree on, and we want to make sure that the terms of that deal are kept. Republicans acknowledged how unique a meeting like this one was, thanking Evers for coming and hoping it's not the last time he sits down with them. But obviously, they have very different beliefs on a lot of issues, but they both said they will agree to at least try to come to common ground. Okay, at least that one's not a non-starter. Yes, okay, trying. Yes. All right, Amanda, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Amanda. Democrats